Anyway, so you know Pauline Hanson. I've yeah. heard of her. Head of One Nation. Redhead. Redhead, yeah. So she's in the news again today. Well, not today. She's released a new book. Um, hmm. The book is called... Oh, I forgot what the book's called. Anyway, she's long released... Walk, long she, Walk to Freedom or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Google. The What's, book... The what? book. Yeah, yeah, go on. No, you, you, can ask, you can ask. What do you mean? Okay, Google. What book did Pauline Hanson just release? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet. Great. <laughs> Thanks, so, Google. Well, I can answer Seth that Google question. Google censoring conservative voices. <laughs> 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 Who is Pauline Hanson? <laughs> So Pauline just released a book called In Her Own Words. Basically, it's... It says Pauline on it. Yeah, Pauline. Sorry, it says Pauline. Are you sure that's not what it's called? Pauline. Pauline. It's such an Aussie name. Pauline. 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 It's a ruined name. <laughs> Pauline. If you ever meet someone in 20 years who's called Pauline, you know what their parents' Pauline is. <laughs> uh, she's releasing a book. It's essentially a, a stuff about her, her policies and all the stuff that she's been ranting on about since the 90s. Right, okay. So, she doesn't so like her, it. her point of view is about things. But has she mm. morphed them? Does she still think um, we're getting swamped, swamped by Asians? <laughs> I have a story yeah, about that, actually. Getting swamped you know what's Asians, funny? I mean, the, well, it's yeah. true. No, we're already here. Yeah. It's a funny story, though. I was and like, I remember, I didn't actually it. realize what that was. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> were you born here? Yeah, yeah, I was born here. I, was, I wasn't born here. I, I love cricket. Here. I'm very sad about this ball tampering thing. <laughs> How much more a simulator do you want me to be? <laughs> anyway, interesting story is that she released a book. That's not really the news. She released a book in her own words. It's basically yeah. a, a book de- telling about her policies and all these blah, blah, if blah. If it's really in her yeah. own words, I'm guessing it's very poorly written. Yeah, well, probably true. I think it's just excerpts from her life the last, right. I don't know, whatever. Okay. Since she's been a politics. She's been a long time. Yeah. Um, now, Tony Abbott is endorsing this book, um, which is, you know, at one point they were enemies. Yeah. Actually, back in... They two- were yeah. very enemies. Yeah. Uh, back in 2003, I don't know if all of you, not everybody might remember, but back in 2003, um, she was done over for fraud because Tony Abbott was basically... Uh, I don't know if he, what he was doing, but he was basically a big part of making sure that she was being prosecuted for fraud. Yeah. He led He's like a big yeah. driver. Because he was a minister at the time. Yeah, right. Yeah. And she in was put away... Government. I think she got put in jail for like 11 weeks. Yeah. yeah and then she got... Her trial got appealed and yeah. I think... Turned Very interesting how things have changed because that was the Liberal yeah. government putting away Pauline. Yeah. Like, we've got a Liberal government now and they would never do anything like no, that against no. Pauline Ends because they need a vote. Yeah. But, so fast forward to 2018, and now Tony Abbott and um, Pauline Hanson are friends. Yeah. Um, who would have thought? Who would have sure. thought? Now, Man obviously, if you kind of if you kind of look at how everything's gone the last like few years, it kind of makes more sense. Mm. Why is it? Because is it a Magneto Professor X situation? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Abbott's definitely been moving more towards right point of views. Definitely, mm-hmm. like way he's moving way more right than he was when he was, you know, the prime minister. It'd be like. Toad and another version of Toad that's, like, <laughs> that's slightly more racist. It's like Wolverine teaming up with me. No, it'd be know. the senator. The senator. The guy who's like, I hate, all the, uh, I hate all the mutants. Let's get rid of the mutant problem. Oh, right. uh, yeah, that guy. The guy turned He had two of them. <laughs> that would be the analogy from x um, that you're looking for. So, yeah, they had this big speech today. Tony Abbott came... Well, not today, sorry. Tony Abbott had this big speech with about Pauline Hanson saying Pauline. how great how great she is. You know, yeah. we, he, she she's the great of voice of reason. Of and course. All this kind of thing, you know. Of course she is. And they had this awkward you know, awkward kiss on the cheek moment, that kind of thing. And yeah. so, um, yeah, super interesting. But the the classic, the great, the great moment was that Pauline Hanson compared herself to Nelson Mandela. And because she right. said... And look, I mean... She, she has a lot of things, but this was probably the dumbest thing I've heard. <laughs> no, Nelson that's Mandela. a big, that is a big call. But she was saying she was basically saying that she it was is very. But dumb, the though. comparison she was making was that she was in jail. Mm. You know, Tony Abbott put her in jail, he did, right. and then she came out of jail, and now she's forgiven Tony Abbott. Yeah, just like Nelson Mandela forgave people who committed apartheid just like nelson mandela forgave all the black people only yeah it's there's a pretty big difference in time served though right oh yeah she did one year (laughs) he did like 20 australian yeah well he did 20 something years in robin island yeah yeah it's a bit Um, bit different 
What but, do you think that says about a person's psyche when they compare themselves? Look, to I, I, look, um, Pauline Hanson is not being the best with. I think she's look. She's she's definitely a person with a lot of hyperbole. So she yes. obviously thinks a lot about herself. I I don't I don't begrudge her for that. She's she's not the greatest with words. She might not necessarily have the best words. No. But she. No. But I think. But. Whatever you might think of her, there is definitely a segment of Australia that resonates with some of her message. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is obviously... Yeah, which the is racist obvi- part. Oh, gosh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, <he laughs> Most, said it. Mostly, right? He said it. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> look, it. look. <laughs> the way you reacted like, sounded like you thought either. I was... No, 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 no. But I mean, it's like, it's it's not... All right, it's not saying well, anything I'm not, groundbreaking. No, no, but I'm just saying she like... She hates it's, your people. No, no, she, she, it's not It's not just that. Actually, she's no, it's funny. It's funny. yeah. people was representing one nation. That's why I asked you if his her views have changed because usually what she does is she picks whoever can be most easily ostracized at the time. So she started with Aboriginals, went to Asians, and now it's Muslims. So I think she's actually warmed to the Asians... But, but like, not really China. Yeah. She's still kind of pushing the China's going to... Which might be true. But she's pushing the China's wants to control all of us angle. But also, like, it's the Muslims. Yeah. She did the whole wearing a burqa thing. I wonder who'll be Bali. next. Sri Lanka? We've probably got a good 10 years, 10, yeah. 15 years. Well, I mean, like, okay. But this is this is obviously a reaction to, obviously, a lot of the immigration issues that are happening overseas as well. Like, yeah. she's looking overseas and going, okay, well, obviously, Europe's got an immigration yeah. problem. How there. do I monger some fear? Well, <laughs> but it's not, it's not, a, it's not, an, it's not an unfound... Like, like the thing is, like, it's not an unfounded sentiment either. Like, it's just like, they're not saying, like, they just want to make sure... There's, there's obviously people... It's not just Pauline Hanson saying it. It's like, hmm. we're all seeing it. Yeah. Yeah, when that white guy shot up Las Vegas, I wanted to ban white people from coming here, but no one no one listened to me. <laughs> people Did thought they? I was crazy. <laughs> and apparently when she does it, she gets to release a book about it. Apparently she does. Explain this. Explain this. To Look, you. hey, there's a... you. To, I'm just saying, I'm like, scared if of you, these white if you people. see That's what I'm saying. I'm just, Nick, but there is a I people. I saw him. He shot a lot of people. <laughs> it was like 70 people. Right. Why are we letting them into our country? Why we not, don't know why, what why, they're going to do. Okay, so you're not you're not concerned about terrorism at all. I'm not concerned about any particular group of people at all. No, no, because okay. they're all humans. Right. Except, I think you can judge them on a case by case basis. Sure, which is what we do, right? Uh, we're, we're doing yeah. we're, we're sort That's of a merit, we we're, do. We're merit, That's merit not based, what she wants us. To no, do. but we are merit based immigration system. I think we you are. mean particular race of people, right? Not yeah. group. Oh uh, well, any gr- any particular grouping. You can go on religion, or you can go on race. It's equally stupid. Muslim is not a race, by the way. Yeah. It isn't, and it's equally stupid to group them by that. Yeah. That's why that's a terrible argument. Yeah. It's like, hey, you're not racist, it's a different word, and you're still stupid. I just meant, like, groups that are obviously pro-extremist terrorist thing. Oh, yeah, no, if they belong to <laughs> that's what I'm ISIS, then, yeah, 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 we don't really want you over here. Sure. So obviously that's that's one of the things that the Senate like that's that's what I'm saying like it, yeah. there are sentiments that are definitely exist in the community. I'm not saying they're all un, I'm not saying they're all well founded. I'm just yeah. saying that no, no, there, there like, are definitely they, sentiments they, of people. They, they play on the obvious fears yeah. that people have so, because of the way the news portrays things. Sure, and so that's kind of why I think it's interesting seeing these two align as well because it's like people you would never see together, mm. but obviously they've become they've got a mutual. Like there's well, mutual. yeah, I mean, Tony Abbott's definitely decided his his path in in politics yeah, is sure. to the right. Sure, he's taken the he's taken the 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 road well traveled. Right, which one's right, conservative? Yeah, conservative. Ah, so, uh, yeah, and in this case, more. So racist. in America, it would be conservative. Is Republicans are more the right? Yeah, and the Democrats are more the left. It's actually really hard to pin down, but the way you put it is, one nation is to the right of the Liberal Party, mm-hmm. and the Liberal Party itself has a left and right. And he's Jeez. Tony Abbott's on the right, and there's a Conservative Party that started from a former Liberal Party. Anyway, left and right starts to yeah. It's interesting because I think they need more of a Venn diagram. Well, because occasionally she she says stuff that's left because she's actually a populist. She doesn't yeah. have a strong. Like she's not strong on the pol- she's not strong on policies. Whatever she's just people strong think on is ideas. popular right now, whatever I can sell to people that's not really that well thought through, but I'll be able to sell it to people. She'll go for it. And there's a lot of these guys popping up. I mean, Cory Bernardi is also another one of these people who is yeah. a populist candidate as well. Yeah. But then you see these guys popping up on the left, at, like both sides of the spectrum. Cory Bernardi's thing is he's fighting pop- political correctness. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm pretty sure when everyone use whenever you hear someone use that phrase, they don't have a well thought out argument. Like there's not yeah, a very yeah, definite yeah, yeah. Right. thing sure, that they're sure, actually sure. trying to say. It's Which, just a good way of 
sounding like you're upset about but something. But that's, that's essentially what politics is at the moment. Like, one of the things that we're starting to realize, and the, I think the Democrats always felt that in America, was mm. that they, they, getting people on, necessarily getting people on just facts alone isn't enough. Mm. Like, you have to get them on emotion. Mm. Yeah. And so this is where I think the Republicans are starting to realize this too. So they're starting mm. to play a bit more into the emotional side of people. The Republicans? Yeah. They've been doing that from the start. This I don't, their, no this way. This is their strategy since Reagan. No way. Re- no way. Yeah. No. Nah. No, they've been playing that. They've been the, playing you reckon the Republicans have been playing? You reckon the Republicans have been playing more on people's feelings? It was Democrats called. Have. It was called the uh, the Southern Strategy. Right. That's okay. It's I'll, like, I'll, there's I'll, a very long history of this. This right, is not I'll, a new. This all right. Is not oh, no, a new no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all right. Playing on people's emotions. That's every true. Decent that's that, that's true. You see it. You see every American political ad. It's always no, but everyone, ever like this is this goes back 200 years. Yeah. Politicians have always known that people vote based on emotion, not on facts. Is this not new in the sense that... It's new in the speed. Yeah. The speed is definitely new. Because but the of... actual facts behind it... What do you it, mean by the speed? The, the the speed at which you can actually make people feel something. Oh, right. Because it, it's so quick to communicate. It's so sure. easy to communicate with people. Like, in America, they locked up Japanese people during World yeah, War II. Yeah, that's like, true. Like, it wasn't fair. Yeah. It was emotionally what they wanted to do. Yeah. So they did it. Yeah. So I don't think that's a new thing. No, right. and I think any poli- like for the political operatives on both sides are just as smart as each yeah, other. Yeah, that's true. They basically work for whoever's paid them the most recently. So there you go. Yeah. Pauline Hanson back in the news.